we're at Dunkirk. This is not my favorite place to fish. I'm actually going to fish the mill pond instead of below the dam. There's kids on the other side of the dam, and I have no idea how the hell they got there. Because uh, it's private land, you're not supposed to go there. But I guess that, is, uh, that really doesn't stop people. So uh, we're just going to see uh, what we can get here, and hopefully we can get something. Otherwise, probably going to Indian Ford. The mill pond's still pretty uh, algae filled, but I think the growth has slowed down definitely because it's been uh, a little chilly the last couple of days. I was thinking about going to Janesville, but it might be a little bit late for that. Or it might be uh, going on one of the dams because um, right now the algae is pretty overgrown here. So let's see what we can get here. But if it doesn't work, we are going to go elsewhere. Now, the thing is, I've never actually caught a carp at Dunkirk, which is kind of strange. Honestly, because I think this would be the perfect habitat for carp. Slow moving water, kind of like algae-ish. find a lot of carp in these areas, but I've never actually caught a carp here at Dunkirk, which I find kind of strange, honestly. Really do find that really kind of strange that I've never caught a carp here. Obviously, that's not the target species today. Definitely going for pike or smallies. That's the thing. And I wouldn't expect there to be bullheads and maybe some catfish here. Although everyone here generally fishes under the dam, and I do believe that is probably the best spot to fish, but I really want to fish in the mill pond to see if there's anything here. I know there should be some northerns here, and there definitely should be some smallmouth here as well, even in the pond itself. Like I said, it is pretty algae reeded overgrown, but we'll see how that goes. Look at that pole bend. That's definitely a fish, and it's not a weak one. I think it's a carp. It's definitely fighting like one, so there are carp here, definitely. Glad there's something here, at least. It's a one hook, so it shouldn't be that bad, but yeah, man, look at that pole bend. I think it's a carp. Unless it's like a flathead, which I highly doubt it. Uh, yeah, it's probably a carp. Glad there is carp. Well, I'm not really glad there's carp here, but at least I caught something today at Dunkirk. And it's interesting to catch stuff. I've actually never caught one here at Dunkirk, maybe because I've never really tried hard enough. But it looks pretty decent. I think it's a, that looks like a carp. Actually, I haven't really seen it, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's really the only thing it could be. Oh no, it's a gato fish. Oh, and it's not a carp. It is a gato fish. A fish of sufficient gato-ness. Maybe I should have brought more worms here. It's a gato fish, people. A fish of sufficient gatoness. That is a much better fish than a carp. I've never caught a got. I've definitely never caught a gato fish at Dunkirk either. But like I said, I haven't uh, caught much at Dunkirk. Pike and uh, bass are the only thing. I usually don't catch too many of them here either. But a fish of sufficient gatoness. That makes me feel a lot better about this place. Nice, nice fish. Probably like only like a five pounder, but I'll take it. A fish of sufficient gatoness. All right, I think I'm gonna need the net. Eh, it's probably bigger than five actually, but it's a decent fish. And the mill pond is delivering the fish of sufficient gatoness. It's not a flathead, but uh, I'll take a channel. Definitely take a channel gato fish. All right, let's get the net up. And hopefully I can just land this sucker. Was not expecting this here. Didn't think they were fishing the mill pond. Everyone fishes under the dam, but it looks like above the dam is just as good, if not better. All right, Gato, come in. Please come here. Don't make me lose it. Ah, there you go. The, fi the fish of sufficient Gato-ness. There we go. There we go. Guys. I'm glad I came here now. It's a fish of sufficient gatoness. It's really slimy, but it is a fish of sufficient gatoness. Very gato, very fish like. About seven pounds, seven pound channel catfish. All right, let's see what we can else, what else we can get in Dunkirk. I like fishes that are sufficiently gato. I'm just gonna have to launch this back over here because uh, there isn't like, there's a bit of a drop in the area of Dunkirk when it comes to when the water is a little low like this. And the water has really been low all year, so we're just gonna have to launch this gato back like this. And, but it'll be fine, it's a gato fish. 
All right, back in the water it goes, and happily it swims off. Now I am upset I didn't buy more worms before I came here, because uh, if I can land a couple of gato fish, this day will definitely be worth it. Man, I barely got it back out and something's already on it. Are the gato fishes just gatoing that hard today? I think this is too big to be a bullhead, unless it's a giant bullhead. It might just be another gato fish, or a carp. But if it was a carp, I think it would be screaming. Could just be another gato fish. Is it? What the heck is that? It's a, oh, it is a bullhead. It's a pretty big one, but it is a bullhead gato fish. I think it's a bullhead. Pretty sure it's not a flat. Oh, that's a fat, fat bullhead. Barely got my uh, line out there and I got this just over one pound, about 1.1 pounds bullhead gato fish. It's a yellow bullhead. Very, very nice fish. All right, lesser gato fish, see ya. And it waddles right off. And it waddles right on shore against the rock. Bullhead gato fish are not very smart. Against that rock, I think I'm gonna use my uh, pole here to push it back into the lake where it can just gato off. Okay, stop swimming towards the shore, gato fish. There you go. Finally, finally, it swims off. All right, two fish, not very long. Glad I came here. I'm pretty sure I can get more fish here. All right, I was about to go home, but something big took my cut bait. I think it's gato, and I like it because uh, I haven't gotten a fish all day. Man, I don't know why I didn't get any northerns today. I think like one, a couple actually bit my bait, but this one is gato, I, or it's a pike. It could be a pike, but pike usually don't bite at night. It's usually a gato fish that bites at night. I'm pretty sure it's a gato fish. It could be a pike, I guess. I can't see in the dark very well, because I have to turn my ultra brights on now. All right. Oh, geez. Yes, yeah, this, this guy took quite a bit of drag, but I think it's a catfish, probably like around the same size as the one I, I got last yesterday. Definitely not a bullhead. Definitely not a bullhead catfish. Bullheads aren't this big. Yep, it's, oh, it's actually quite a bit bigger than the one I got yesterday. This one's a chunky boy. It's quite a bit bigger than the one I got yesterday. Did I actually take the net? No, I did not take the net back, thank God. This one's a good one. This one's a good one. Surprised nothing took my live bait today. I think I'm just gonna put it in the pole holder for now. I'll put it in the pole holder for now. Oh God, that one went insane as well. Okay, okay, okay. Just a second, just a second. I might have two big gato fishes here. I think I will have two big gato fishes here. You know, I'm glad it's like 50 pound braid that I have on both because uh, if I didn't have 50 pound braid, I definitely be worried i think that one nope that one's still on too oh let's let's capture let's capture this one first because it could be pretty gato i think it is pretty gato all right gato fish oh this one's big oh that one's huge too oh i wish i had another person helping me here yeah this one's gato this one's gato very very gato-ish all right, it's a good thing. It's a gato. It's, oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. It's so gato as well. It's very gato as well. Oh yes, thank you, Lord. Two big fish, two big fish. 50 pound braid. This one, this one is actually live bait. That one was cut, this one was live. All right, might be worth staying here after dark. I thought the water was too cold. Water. Definitely not too cold for giant gato fish. Oh, holy smackerel, man. Two. Oh, man, this one's insane. This is pretty insane. Yep, that's another gato. And it's big too. It's huge. <laughs> yes. It's very, very gato ish. Very, very gato ish. Oh, I'm gonna need the net for this one too. I think that I think the one I just bought up is bigger. 
And the thing is, like, catfish can stay out of water for quite a while. There's a lot of gatos here. I think I might stay for like an hour or two more to see how more, yeah, this one's not as big as the other one, but oh my God, it's huge as well. It's huge as well. It's gato. It's gato. All right, I think I might just keep this one in the water actually while I weigh that one because uh, this is, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one in the water. It's not gonna break my 50 pound braid. It might break my pole though. Definitely might break the pole. Oh well. Let's actually get this one weighed. That one's huge, that one's, a, that one's a huge boy. Let's get this weighed and see what we got. That one's big too. You know what? We're, uh, we're gonna have to uh, basically get this one first because this one's bending my freaking net so it bring my pole so hard. I don't want it to break my pole. But oh my God, these are two big gato fish. Both of them are significantly more gato than the seven pounder I got last time here. There's another big baby. Oh yeah. I don't know which one's bigger, but they're both pretty gato. Check that out, check that out. Got two beasts to show you guys. This one, I think is actually the smaller of the two. And this one is 12 pounds of pure gato-ness. And then we're gonna, now we're gonna go at the other one and show you that one too, after we let this guy go. All right, gato fish. I think you're slightly smaller than the other one. See ya fish. And now it goes off. Nice, nice gato fish. Well, I was wrong. This one's pretty much the exact same size. 12 pounds of pure goodest gato-ness. Two massive gato fish. Well, not massive, but big gato fish nonetheless. Very happy with this. I'm gonna see if I can get more. All right. Time to let both of these guys go. This one's pretty gato as well. Gonna let them go in the same way. See a fish. Water actually is decently deep here and you can tell it's just kind of swimming by the shore and then swimming off. That was such a thrill. Two 12 pound gato fish. I was about to leave, but now I'm probably gonna stay for like another 45 minutes to see if I can get more gato-ish fish. Usually gato fish at this time of the year, they only really bite just when it gets dark. They don't really bite afterwards. But since there are 12 pounders here, there might be 20 pounders here. And that's what I'm after, 20 pound catfish. Oh, the gato fishes have come out to gato today. This is another one. It ain't small. The ones here are pretty big. Well, that could just be because I'm actually using pretty big bait. So anything that bites a large cut bait is not gonna be uber small. But yeah, it's fighting. I don't know if it's as big as the last one. It's really hard to tell. But yeah, man, it's, it's definitely not a small fish. Definitely not a small fish. And uh, like I said, unlike pike during the day, when these things bite, they do not come off. As long as you're, oh, yep, there it is. I think this one's smaller. Hard to tell, but I think it's, it's splashing pretty hard. I think this one is smaller though. Doesn't matter, it's still probably a good eight, nine pounds. Probably at least, well, at least, no, nah, this one's not that big. This one's probably like five. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. I mean, I can't tell even from this distance. It's just going up and down. It's gatoing pretty hard though. Yeah, it's, it's a little smaller than the last two, but it's still a good fish. Still a pretty good fish. Probably like closer to seven, eight pounds like the last one I caught um, over at the other place. But man, this gatoing at night, definitely working out for me. These gato fish really like to come out at night. They really do. There we go, there's a gato. Another gato fish, this one's significantly smaller though. Still might be a good seven or eight, but Significantly smaller than the last couple. There we go. I was hoping for a 20, but it's closer to 10 probably, which is still not a bad gato fish by any extent, but not what I was hoping for. Definitely not what I was hoping for. I gotta just put it in the pole holder now and get my net to land this guy. I wish I could just pull these on shore, but Dunkirk is a little bit weird. It's not like uh, some of the other places. Dunkirk is a little weird, so I gotta put it in the pole holder and go get my net, which is on the other side, near the other pole. And hopefully, I'll get more. Because uh, these fishes 
are really gatoing. Very, very hard indeed. Oh my gosh. It's another one. It's another one. Uh, 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 it's smaller, but it ain't, it ain't tiny. It is by no means a tiny fish. I don't know if I could fit something over 20 in the net, actually. If I really think about it, I have no idea if I can actually fit something that's 20 in the freaking net. There it is. Let's go catch it in the net. There we go. That's another gato. That's another good gato. Smaller, but still very gato-ish. Oh yeah, another good catfish. Dunkirk has so many catfish. Check this out, another one, eight and a half only. Only eight and a half, not over 10, not as big as the others, but still pretty gato. Dunkirk, man. After dark, even when it's cold, a lot of catfish. Maybe I'll try fishing here in the winter, ice fishing for gato fish, because there's a lot of them. Now, this one's not quite as big, but uh, still pretty gato. See a fish, and it gatos on off. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't know how good Dunkirk, Dunkirk was for catfish after dark. Probably should have stayed longer the other day, but the other day I actually ran out of worms. But uh, yeah, and if you throw worms, bullheads are gonna get it. But cut bait, man, too big for bullheads, channel gatos, they bite it good, they bite it good. I have to say, the one thing that would make this day complete is if a big flathead actually picked up the uh, a big flathead actually picked up the live bait over there, but I don't know if this mill pond has flatheads. I, I know people catch flatheads in Yahara on the confluence with a rock, but I've never actually heard of anyone catching a flathead at Dunkirk. Only channels, unfortunately, but maybe we'll get lucky today. Oh, we got another one. Man, this is probably the most gato-ish place I've been to. Well, maybe besides Wisconsin Dells, of course, because that got me the giant flatheads. But out of all the channel catfish, this is the most gato-ish place I've ever been to. It's pretty insane. This guy was taking a lot of... This guy definitely was taking a lot of drag. This 50 pound braid though, so I'd be extremely surprised if anything broke it. Especially with the drag I have on it. But, yeah, there, this is definitely a channel. A flathead would basically just pull straight down. And, uh, yeah. It'd, be, it'd feel bigger too for a flathead for the most part. If it was a big flathead, but this is uh, definitely a big channel. It's definitely a decent sized channel. I won't say a huge channel, but okay. I need to like st slowly reel this thing back. There it is, that's a channel. It's not a huge channel, but it's a channel. It's a pretty decent one. They're all pretty decent. They're, it's not a 20 pound monster. But it's a good, like, maybe 10, 8, 10 pound fish. I think besides the Marshall and the Menasha, where the average fish size is significantly smaller than this, I don't catch this many channels, like, in a session. Oh, uh, that one, that one actually is probably over 10. It's pretty long, it has that winding shape. It took my live bait. Wish that was a flathead, but I'll take another big channel gufflefish. I'm also kind of like, Starting to run out of batteries on my GoPro light. But channel gato fish right there. It's another pretty big one. Another big one. Fourth one of the day. This is probably the third one over 10. That's definitely over 10. Probably like 11 or 12. Now not a 20 though, not a 20. I know what a 20 looks like and that ain't a 20. That is not a 20, unfortunately. But it's a good 10. So uh, we will, obviously, we will just uh, get this guy in and throw another bait out. We'll do this until we run out of bait. That one actually might be the biggest one of the night. I'll have to see, but it's, it's not, it's a pretty big fish. I don't want to come in, does it? Oh no, fish, you're coming in. You cannot beat the mighty gato fish of them. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, this one's heavy. Yep, there's another good gato fish. Man, Don Kirk is, has a lot of these huge fish. And the biggest one of the night so far. 
14 pound, 14.3 channel gato fish. This pond is very, very gato. All right, that's the biggest boy so far at 14.3. Probably gonna stay here just for a little bit longer because I want more gato-ish fish. But this guy's going back in the water. There you go. Gatoing right off. See that? Gatoing right off. Well, that was a thrilling adventure. Five gato fish and two bullheads. Surprised I didn't get any pike or smallmouth bass. I think I got a bite like during the day, but it really didn't like stick on. So ended up with five gato fish, the smallest being seven pounds, the largest being 14. I'm pretty sure there are 20 pound monsters in there. I will try to fish for them over the summer. Just didn't really want to stay there because it like got really cold around like seven or eight, but I definitely will be back there next summer. Most people think the area under the dam is where the hot spot is. No, no, no. I've actually caught crap under the dam. I've caught nothing there. But like I've ac I caught five big gato fish and several bluegills and bullheads like in the mill pond itself. Mill pond itself, excellent fishing spot, especially at night. There's probably some bass and pike there as well. I just didn't catch any. So hope you had fun watching this. Um, and I'll see you on the next fishing adventure. Check out some of my social media. It's all in the description.